Well, my name is Paul Appel. I'm a business attorney. I've been practicing for 35 years. Today I'm going to talk about boilerplate. It's not as boring as you think. Boilerplate is stuff at the end of a contract that nobody ever reads. It talks about agreements, the entire understanding, it's binding on your heirs, each party can review the contract, etc., etc., etc. Everybody thinks, well, it's not going to make any difference. And that's not correct. I've had a client, true story, client enters into a contract, this is before I was representing him, for someone to do some services, pays $50,000, the services are not performed correctly. He wants to sue. We look at the contract, the contract says that he has to sue in arbitration in Denver, Colorado. Well, in Denver, which is where the other party is located, in Denver, uh, arbitration does not necessarily have to require lawyers to act as arbitrators. So what's he gonna do? He has no idea where he's going. He has no idea who he's gonna be before. He's in home territory. It's gonna be expensive. And the net result is he walked away from it. So even though he had a good contract, that boring boilerplate prevented him from enforcing it. You need to look. You don't find this stuff online. You need to develop a legal team which is not expensive, despite the way it sounds. You develop a relationship with a lawyer, you can ask questions, that's the way you're gonna protect yourself and save yourself a lot of aggravation. Uh, remember, the only dumb question is one you don't ask. Thank you.